Hi, my name is Robert Falcon Ouellette, and today I'm uh, doing another special presentation to Grant Nazarko. Nazarko. Like Nazarko uh, for uh, for his volunteerism that he's been doing in the uh, in Winnipeg Center and for Winnipeg, the people of Winnipeg in Manitoba, and also Canadians. You bet. For so Canadians. very very happy to have you here, Grant. Thank and I'm just going to read off your your bio here. Oh, so that's a long one there. It is. It's going to take a little bit of time, but nonetheless, it's important that we read uh, you know what you've done because it's important. Okay. So uh, Grant Nazarko became involved with creating a Canada Day Living flag in 2011 after some arm twisting by a friend Ken Kelly. Now Ken Kelly started the Living Flag concept in 2006 when he was the general manager of the Downtown Victoria Business Association and has continued to promote this activity across Canada. In 2011 after approaching a couple of Winnipeg organization, organizations the Winnipeg Downtown Biz agreed to assist and support this concept. The Biz has continued to support this activity. The first three Canada Day Living Flags 2011, 12 and 13 were held in in front of the Manitoba Legislative Building. The picture from the 2013 Living Flag was used in one of Canada Post's commemorative stamps. Now the Living Flag project could, provides an opportunity to showcase the city. In 2014, it was decided to leave the beautiful legislative grounds and our Golden Boy backdrop to use other famous city landmarks. In 2014, the Living Flag was formed at the Forks with the Museum of Human Rights as a backdrop. In 2015 and 16, the Living Flag was created at Shaw Park with Winnipeg high rises at Portage and Main as a backdrop and the Museum of Human Rights as a backdrop in 2016. Canada's 150th anniversary provided an opportunity to do something absolutely unique. The Winnipeg Biz was able to have Portage and Maine closed for two hours, knowing that seven or eight other Canadian cities were planning to compete with Winnipeg to create Canada's largest living flag. It was an opportune time to do something completely unique during the limited two hours. Grant decided that the iconic intersection of Portage and Maine would be the perfect place to create Canada's first and largest living maple leaf. The success was evident with over 15 million viewing of Dan Harper's time elapsed video and, number of, and a number of international news services that carried the event. Winnipeg's international coverage is the envy of other cities that created living flags, some bigger than Winnipeg's winning flags in past years. The concept of living flag provides an opportunity for participants to meet and show their pride of being Canadian, especially meeting new Canadians. It's an opportunity create a little competition between cities and to showcase their city. Now, uh, this can go on and on and on. Um now I just wanted to notice no community project is successful unless there's a large number of volunteers and participants. Noted help by Stantec and continued assistance by Janice Dobson, Joe McKenzie and Tercida Ter Guerrera and 70 plus other volunteers has made this a successful event. Many volunteers have participated in all the seven years. In the seven years that have hosted the Living Flag type event in Winnipeg, there have been over 21,000 participants. On a national basis there has been in excess of 230,000 individuals forming living flags from Victoria to Charlottetown and uh, on a personal basis it says I am a passionate Canadian and a fervent supporter of Winnipeg I'm a retired business owner married to Eileen for nearly 43 years father of six grandfather of uh, no father of four grandfather of six these are your words soon to be seven and I continue to volunteer on several levels including vice president at Columbus Courts and Manitoba housing low income housing facility the board of directors the upcoming Canada Games and other community and church organizations I believe that you must put more into your community and then that then you take out a motto my dad instilled for the entire family Correct. so grant um, I, on behalf of uh, of the Canadian government as also as the member of Parliament for Winnipeg Center I wish to congratulate you on your achievement and I present you with Canada's 150 uh, sequence centennial uh, medal uh, MPs medal for volunteerism and it should be in one of my pockets here That's a good just looking for, for it <laughs> here it is uh, and I'm gonna pin it on you okay so do you want me no, are you, you gonna stab me I I'm, I'm certainly gonna try you're fearless as well I am fearless because I trust you Robert you trust me do you ah. <laughs> there you go Thank and you. Uh, here is uh, the certificate as well so we'll just take a quick photo <laughs> Okay. And I have a few questions for you. I want to ask. Okay. So uh, why 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 a living flag? Why is something like this for Winnipeg? What uh, drove you to do this? Because oh. I'm sure your family said, Grant, this is a lot of work and a lot of effort that you goes into this, and you disappear away from us for quite some time. Well, I, I think one of the uh, reasons for it, it gives a 
uh, an opportunity for participants, specifically new Canadians, and even those of us that were born in Canada, to come out and what I say is really wave the flag. How, how often can you really get into the flag, and in this case, the maple leaf? So that's one of the reasons. It's a way to just show your pride of being a part of the, the great Canadian culture. And of course, it's exciting when you meet new Canadians. Like, you know, I've met people from Jordan, and I've met people from Russia, and Brazil, and the Philippines. I mean, it, they're so excited to be a participant in such an activity. I think the other reason I like this is because it's a downtown event, and I think we don't spend enough time looking at the benefits and the excitement that we have downtown. You know, we have the Winnipeg Downtown Biz that is doing a phenomenal, uh, uh, a phenomenal job in trying to encourage people to come downtown. Yeah. And this is just another event to have people come downtown and experience, you know, the vibe that we have downtown. It's like being in your area right here. There's a vibe that people <laughs> don't come to, right? And they need to experience that. So now, that's the other reason. The first time you started, were you afraid that no one would come? Yes, and we still, uh, every year has been the same situation. Well, how many do you get, right? Are you going to get 100 or are you going to get, you know, uh, 3,000 or 4,000? So planning for it is really difficult, but, you know. Well, every year it seems to be around 4,000, 3,000. Right, exactly. And now, just to let you know, Victoria did theirs this year with 5,004, but they lied, actually. They actually only did 5,003. Oh, okay, okay, five, okay, okay. They're missing one there. Yes, exactly. Well, you know, I'm sure there's still some good rivalry that goes on. Um, oh. If you could suggest other things to other people, because volunteerism nowadays, I think it's one thing that's kind of falling a bit by the wayside in a lot of people. It's um, We're kind of more centered on our cell phones, uh, a little bit about ourselves and our own experience, but yet, you know, we need people to give back to the community because, you know, governments just can't do everything. You know, I wish governments could, you know, have, hire everyone to do everything in our society, but they can't. Uh, you know, why, do you have a, do you have anything that you'd like to, add to just You know, I just really think that we have so many gifts uh, ourselves and that sometimes we just have to take a look and say, gee, you know, I have this gift uh, and so we need to be good stewards of our gifts and whatever that might be. My gifts are different than yours. Yours are, you know, you have the ability to be an MP. My gifts are to maybe be behind the scenes and try to move things along differently or to work within the community and help, you know, make life better. For me, it's seniors or those that are having health issues or sports events or whatever it is. Whatever is your calling is, I think you need to step up to the plate and say, you know, someone helped me do it. Now it's my turn. It's my turn to carry that flag for the next little while. Pope Francis said, uh, no matter what you do, if you do something which is for the benefit of people, just do it because it's going to make the world a better right. place. Right. And it goes back to this motto. I think you've got to put more back into your community than you take out. It's like a law of physics almost, right? You've got to put more <laughs> energy in to get a certain amount of energy out, right? And in, in my situation, and I hope that's true about a lot of the young people coming up, to understand that they need to put more into the community than they take out. It's a really rewarding experience. So uh, I believe this is your last year doing the Canada Living Flag, I, I heard? Well, uh, that's my plan. Uh, originally, my plan was to be in Ottawa for 2017, but uh, then when <laughs> the opportunity came up with the biz again to do another one, something unique, I decided. But next year, I hope to be in Ottawa, please, uh, please God. But uh, we'll see what next year. Next year, maybe we should just have the big heart of the Portage in Maine because we're the heart of the continent, aren't we? Well, I like that, the heart of Canada. Right. Something that's actually, that's often what I call my riding. Actually, I call it Winnipeg Center, Heart of Canada. It is. Because it's a beautiful, beautiful place with so many different groups of people right. and making right. up this community. It is. And that's a lovely mix that we have. But we know we bring people from so many cultures here and we get to experience their culture. Yeah. Right. That's a real benefit to us. Well, Grant, uh, I have one more thing for this you. Is, oh, you have one thing for me. Yeah, Usually yeah, it only yeah. goes one way in I this know case. That. I know But that. you're a hard person to stop. Uh, certainly, on behalf of myself and the biz, I'd like to present you with another t shirt from the Canada Day. Uh, living maple leaf as you can see it's got no advertising on it so when you wear it in ottawa uh later in the year you don't have to be promoting anyone okay that would be good that'll be good for you if it's not big enough because of your broad shoulders then of course uh, frail shoulders yes i have a picture of our canada day maple leaf canada's largest maple leaf by the way living maple leaf and hopefully i'll get another one and have it mounted for you so you can have it in your office but this is for you well and thank you very for myself and the downtown biz and there I am. I can see myself yeah, right with my there, kids. Smi smiley right there my, the camera. With my kids. I brought them out that morning. Yeah. We've actually done a couple of these. They've, they enjoy getting up in the morning. They, uh, they wear their, their Canadian t-shirts with pride at the school, showing they're one of the only kids in the entire school who went to that event. And so uh, they're yeah. like, look what I did. Right. So uh, I'll turn over to the business and say, hey, next year, 5,000 people? So yes, we got to get 5,000 next year. We got to find it. We got to get better on social media, get any promoting this. Very good. That's it. Well, thank you. Anyways, Tapuyaki Kitwam, thank you very much. I really appreciate all the hard work you do. Thank you very much. And the hard work you do. I